up guys today i wanted to go over a common issue when it comes to these dodges right here it is a p0148 code it is basically everything to do with fuel delivery it's an error that's typically caused by a lack of volume to the cp3 ultimately it could be a weak lift pump or a dirty fuel filter those are the most two common errors that causes this issue you can tell it going to occur when your check engine light pops up when you're flooring it on the highway and you lose power goes into limp mode that's typically the problem it kind of prevents any harm occurring to your cp3 because you're lacking the proper fuel pressure to your high pressure pump basically this video even though there's a bunch online already about this is not many people mentioned an explanation when it comes to the lift pump toward your cp3 they basically say a uh, quick and easy way to check and see if you're getting the proper amount of fuel to your cp3 is to pull the hose get a bucket have it uh, measured and see if it uh, fills it up to a certain increment during a certain amount of time you know it's an easy way obviously so i did that turn the key it pumps up it fills up quick and i'm like okay it works great so I didn't worry about that. Next thing I moved on to is the FCA on the injection pump. Those are really faulty. And those typically go bad. So I went and bought a Bosch FCA, which bolts on the back of your CP3. That didn't work. And so did a little bit more research. And if everything on the low pressure side checks out okay, which it technically did, I went to the high pressure side. So I went to the next sensor on the fuel rail, which is the pressure relief valve. Put one on. And these are Bosch sensors. It goes on there and drove it, goes back into limp mode. Usually it's not on the high pressure side. I went and bought a fuel pressure gauge to tap into the low pressure side that feeds the CP3, turn the key, jumps up to five PSI, and then once the truck runs, it jumps to zero. There it is. It's a bad lift pump. That was the issue. And yes, it would still run. Sometimes you would have to Give it a little bit of throttle and it would start, but you're starving the CP3 of any fuel pressure. So we got on a lift today. I ordered me a lift pump off of eBay because it's basically the same lift pump that you would get from O'Reilly's, but this one's only $60 versus $210 at O'Reilly's. Step one to changing your Dodge diesel lift pump is to get a car lift. Can't get a car lift, lift it off the ground high enough to drop this tank. Second step after you got to lift it in the air, go get you a seven millimeter, put the same band clamps as these. Undo them off of your fill tube. If you're having trouble pulling them off, off of your stainless lines here, go ahead and just pull them off of your tank. Those could be an easier option for you. Next step is to clean all the dirt and debris around your cap so it doesn't fall on your tank. Best way to do is use your finger and break up all the dirt and get you a vacuum cleaner. Just connect all your connections on top before you drop this tank. Your two quick connect fittings. You just push these in both sides and they pop off you got to push in and then out if you don't have the proper tools to undo these quick connect fuel lines it really helps to use a small flathead screwdriver to push in both clips and then you can use your finger on one side and then the flathead on the other don't forget you got to push in and out and while you're doing that you got to have these clips pushed in at the same time or you'll be there all day trying to mess with them 16 millimeter I've got to use a ratchet wrench just because my socket is not deep enough to go over this. Get you a wobble, 16 millimeter socket. Also something to catch it with if you're by yourself. Be sure when you do this job, make sure it's like I only got less than a quarter tank in there though, because it's going to be heavy. I have to use your flyhead screwdriver to pry this side up just a little bit to help it through the hole.
stop right there. And then it's locked in. But be sure on these aftermarket pumps, this clip will secure because eventually vibration could bring this clip back out and then you don't have no fuel pressure and you may think it's anything but this. So it's always good to double check and make sure that this is going to click in. Um, I had to take a razor knife and just cut a tiny fraction off of this little clip right here that secures it. Okay, now that it's secure, it's clipped on, it's clicked. You heard the click, push that safety tab back in. We are reaching 23 PSI and there we go that's my problem that's just a little tip for you guys just in case if you did the little bucket trick check that if it was priming even if they're bad lip pumps they could prime just for 30 seconds or even two minutes mine would prime fine for a couple minutes but it wouldn't maintain pressure so that was my issue before you go too far into your high pressure side it's typically the low pressure side so there's your little trick